Here's a look at the Leon Dreisaitl overturned goal in overtime against the St. Louis Blues where it was deemed Connor McDavid was offside on zone entry. And I'm going to try and clear a few things up rule-wise and also the NHL's interpretation of the rule, how they got the ruling. So here's what they say in their own explanation. Video review determined that Edmonton's Connor McDavid preceded the puck into the offensive zone without possession and control and therefore was in an offside position prior to Leon Dreisaitl's goal. The confusing part about that explanation to me is that the NHL rule actually says a player actually controlling the puck who shall cross the line ahead of the puck shall not be considered offside provided he had possession and control of the puck prior to his skates crossing the leading edge of the blue line. In their released explanation, the NHL says Connor McDavid preceded the puck into the offensive zone without possession and control and was therefore in an offside position. But their own rule book says the player only needs to have control as long as he had possession and control of the puck prior to his skates crossing the leading edge. And looking at the play itself, it's clear Connor McDavid had both possession and control approaching the blue line. The question should be just about whether or not he has control as this puck crosses. To clear that discrepancy up for you and make you feel a little better, even though the NHL's actual explanation said that Connor McDavid did not have both possession and control when he crossed the line, Dave Jackson, former official and ESPN rules analyst for the NHL, tweeted this out. The Situation Room determined that before the puck completely crossed the line, he lost control of the puck. So even though the official explanation said that he crossed the line without possession and control, Dave Jackson confirmed that they looked at just control. But to me, the whole point of having the two terms, possession and control, means that you can still have control of the puck, you can still be manipulating the puck and where it goes without actually physically touching it. And that's what Connor McDavid is doing. He makes an intentional hockey move to let the puck glide across the line, and then he's going to pick it up and push it straight across the blue line. He's just changing the angle of attack. Kind of of he has ones. full control right up till this moment. It's only at this moment that O'Reilly's stick knocks Connor McDavid's stick away, and he's no longer able to manipulate the puck. But as we can see, both Connor McDavid's skates and the puck are well past the plane of the blue line at this moment. So therefore, he still had control crossing the line when the puck broke the plane of the blue line, and therefore, he should have been deemed onside, and that Is anything that Cam happens McCart? after shouldn't matter. So to make you feel a little better, the NHL was looking at the right rule when making their decision. In my opinion, they just interpreted it incorrectly. This should have been a good goal.